Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm Sasha, and how are you? What did you say? So so. Ah, so so. Why? What's wrong? Um, few hours ago, my brother from the United States called us saying that my dad was really sick and he didn't know if he was able to survive this night. Also, he's like in the emergency room or something. Maybe. No, my sis, my little sister called the ambulance, but they didn't take him because they said in the hospital there are a lot of infected people or coronavirus, and they didn't want to take him the risk. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yeah, so the only thing they do the blood pressure in him. Mm -hmm. Um, he had a uh 160 and the only thing they told my little sister and my other family is like to take only Tylenol mm -hmm. and not all the pills if he gets like more fever or he goes if he get worse to call them back oh my gosh well, but they're right about that in a way that there are a lot of infected people and if he does get infected, it's gonna be difficult. But he has to reduce that blood pressure, otherwise he's gonna get some stroke or something. Yeah. yeah let's see what happens, sorry. Thank sorry you. to hear that. What about you, JC? Tired as usual? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Poor guy, Fine. you're always like, <laughs> <laughs> it's one minute after class and you're already like <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I'm fine. Tired. I'm fine okay I'm, I'm glad to hear that all right um yeah check on your sister and see what she says Robert okay you can try to keep an eye on that yeah like right now she's going to sleep she just let, let me know that she was going to sleep but to her, like, in case anything happens, let me know. Yeah, okay. We'll see. Let me know as well. Keep it posted. All, All right. right. Uh, can Thank you read you. the objective, please, Roberto? The objective? Mm -hmm. In this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and job requirements, where germs and short response will be used. Very good, thank you. I need a job. All right, let's watch the video, guys. Pay attention to Jaren, it's okay. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as Jaren's and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. Guys, can you see well? Yes, is it big More enough? More or less. More or less, okay. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna send it to the group anyway, but I, I think you can see now. It's a little blurry. Yes. A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you an assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here, you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Five 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 five. 
Part B. Listen to Brad. This. A door to. Okay. Take a look on. I'm sending the dialogue through WhatsApp. So it's much better. It looks way better, actually. Did you see it? Yeah, let me find it. <clears throat> okay, there it is. Hi, Katya. Katya, can you hear us? Yes. Like. Yes, I got. All right, let me open it here so we can see it while listening to it. Give me one second. I'm almost there. Uh -uh. Nope. Here it is. Okay, got it. Now take a look. Jenny, welcome. Long time no see. All right, let's listen. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Hola, jefe. Hoy quiero hablaros de cómo proyectar autoridad y seguridad. Y okay. We don't want to listen to that. <laughs> okay. So, what's the other requirement they have? What's the other job requirement they have? Ah. Did you hear? Speak another language. You speak at least one other language, right? At least one. Okay, let's practice the conversation. Where can you see sharing? It's already highlighted, so you don't need to, you know. Where do you see Jaren's? Jaren's, by the way, are the ones that end in ing that that's adjourned okay mm. adjourned is conjugated with the ing form and it is it, it is okay you have a verb and right after that you have adjourned okay that's when you have two verbs together so what gerunds can you find Here's one, two. You like traveling? I like traveling. Selling. Okay, look at this one. I like traveling. So we have two verbs, right? The verb like, the verb like, and look, ing. Require is a gerund. So every, ah, okay. every, every time you use like, say traveling. We're going to practice this in a little bit, don't worry. Okay, what else? Selling. Mm. 
why is it that we're using no. money? Why are we saying I'm I'm good at selling and I'm not good at sell? Why? Do you have any idea? No? No. No. Jenny, can you hear us? I think she can. All right. Ask her, maybe she can join us. All right, I'm good at selling. And we also have this option, I'm good at sell. Why is it that this is the correct option? Do you know? No? Mm -mm. Okay. The reason why is, look, this, at. At is a preposition, okay? After prepositions, you always use a gerund. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have a video about this. How would I think about it? Hold on. Um, have you watched it? I'm going to send you that video about prepositions and gerunds. So, for example, look at selling, at doing, at studying at la 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 because at is a preposition what are the prepositions guys what are some examples at is one what else in two two no i'm gonna skip that no. preposition it is a preposition okay. but we use that one for infinitives that's a problem so at in on, by, between, okay, what else? For, under. under, okay, before, after, all of these are prepositions. So if you have a verb here, that verb has to be conjugated with the ing form, okay? For example, I'm interested in it's a preposition. I'm interested in learn or I'm interested in learning, guys. Learning. Yes, learning because we have a preposition, all right? On, um, by, okay, I'm, oh, about is also a preposition, okay? I'm happy about, tell me an activity, a bird, I'm happy about. Traveling, for example, because you have a preposition, you use ing. Is that clear? So write it here. Take a mental note. After prepositions, we always use a gerund. That's the rule of thumb. Always and like. Okay. Let's see another one. What else? Here's one. I don't mind working. I don't mind working? Yes, the verb mind always goes with ing, with the gerund. Hello. Mind working. Hold on. So like and mind require a gerund, okay? Let's practice the dialogue first, and then we're going to practice this topic. I know it's maybe not clear, but once you practice, it'll be easier. All right. Let's practice the dialogue. So everybody has it. Um, Jose, are you still there? Roberto? Roberto? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Then, JC, you're going to be Dan. Okay. And Katia, you're going to be Brad. And Roberto, give me a second. Lights, camera, action. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. In good list of the internet. How about this? A door to door sells person to sell baby products. Mm -hmm. Like diapers, I think. No, thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Selling. What? 
telling well i am i may oh. check i may check one out oh here's one for you an assistant entertainment director on a cruise trip that sounds like fun i like traveling and i never been on a cruise trip it's say here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea that's okay you don't mind working long hours if the pay is good what's the phone number it's five 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 three four five five okay excellent that was good now uh, let's see if we have an explanation on this and then we'll practice by the way, is there any new vocabulary on the conversation? No? Okay, let's watch then. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like hate, good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza, she hates cooking, they're good at writing poetry, or I don't mind listening to people's problem, he's not good at playing sports, you can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so, to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither, to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject, or noun or pronoun, after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice.
Okay, we're not going to practice all of these yet because there are a lot. But we are going to do so tomorrow, okay? All the verbs that require a gerund. But let's, we might have time actually. Is this topic confusing, guys? Be honest. A little. A little? It's good? Yes, a little bit. No, oh, okay. It's not hard. So we're going to make it easy. We're going to go one by one, step by step, okay? So the first verb we're going to study are these that are similar, all right? And help me out. So we're going to work with enjoy. Enjoy, hate, love, like. They're pretty similar, okay? All right, um, and here I need a verb, obviously in the gerund, so meaning it, it's gonna end in the ing form, okay? So, Katia, something you enjoy doing? Mm, I enjoy playing with. Playing with? My dogs with my dogs okay JC come on let's do it quickly guys think fast I hate mm -hmm. driving in Seriously? traffic oh, okay, okay that makes sense okay I hate <laughs> driving in rush hours let's say rush okay. hour okay something, something you love doing Roberto I love eating Chinese food <laughs> I don't have access to any of that food right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not nah right now. No, nothing. <laughs> that's good. I might lose weight, so that's good. Like, something you like, Katya? Mm, I like listening music, pop music. I like listening to... Pop music. music, pop music. Okay, very good. Let's do one more round. We're gonna start here, Roberto. An example with like. I like. I like doing sports. Okay, JC. I. Huh? <clears throat> ah, hello. Yes. I love eating pizza. <laughs> Why does it have to be food here? <laughs> <laughs> I love reading. I love walking. I don't know. It could be anything. Okay. No, no. <laughs> I hate walking. I love exercise. Uh, I love exercising. I hate, I hate. Okay. Look at this. I don't want you to get confused. All right. You can say, I love exer exercise. That is okay. Or you can say, I love exercising the doing is, exercise no it's also good exercise. the thing is that this is a noun it's a noun you can say i love my mom right i love exercise it's okay but we're trying to put two verbs together that's what we're doing right now putting two verbs together and seeing how to okay. conjugate it properly that's why okay oh uh, yes right hate katya mm. I don't know. I hate. I hate hearing people chew with their mouth open. Like. Okay. Don't you <laughs> so annoying. Okay, so those two verbs. Count remember. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Those four those verbs. Those people are called cow chewing. <laughs> They chew like cows. <laughs> All right, those four verbs, take a mental note. They require ing, okay? Those four always use ing. In some oh, cases, you. you're going to say, for example, I like to dance. For example, it is correct, but this is the most common one, okay? The one here. I like to dance. Very good. Let's move on. Now, we're going to use gerunds. We're going to use gerunds after a preposition. What are the prepositions again? At. Uh -huh. On. On. 
between. In between. What else? Before. Before. Okay. After. After. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finally. No, not finally. Mid. <laughs> after. <laughs> on by. In by. by on. About. Oh. Or, we're always going to use a gerund. That. Sorry? No. Okay, look at this. So we say interested, guys, we say interested at, on, or in. Uh, in? Yes, in. interested in. Okay. So answer the questions. No, answer the question. What are you interested in? Mm -hmm. I'm interested in Roberto, JC, Katia, everybody give me an example. I'm interested in. I'm learn. interested in skydiving. Interested in skydiving. Very good. Interested in skydiving. I think it's like this, if I'm not wrong. Okay, got it. I know, JC, you had an example? I am interesting interested in, in um, learning a uh, cook. Learning, learning how to cook. How to cook. How to cook. How to cook. Yes, okay. How to cook. I interested in learning English. <laughs> okay. In improving. Let's say I'm interested in, improve, in improving my English. Okay, because of the preposition, all right? We're going to use a different preposition now. We're going to say I'm good at that's a preposition i'm good at it's not i'm good in no, no soy bueno en okay it's, i'm good at tell me an activity you're good at katia jc roberto i'm i'm good at Play in soccer. Play in soccer. Daisy, what about you? Katia? I good at eating lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Oh, that's one of your skills? <laughs> you know what? I have a great skill. I'm good at eating lasagna. I'm the best one. <laughs> what an ability of yours. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and uh, attending patients. Ass assisting. Assistant. Assisting patients. Patient. I'm good at assisting patients. Yes, you probably are. All right. And now we're going to say I'm the opposite. Okay. I'm bad at. I'm bad at. Playing right. basketball. <laughs> but do you like it? Mm. <laughs> Not really. You don't like it? I'm bad so, at... Okay, I'm bad at... I'm bad at... Me too. <laughs> but something else you're bad at. We're bad at a lot of things. So what's something of yours? I'm bad at... Uh-huh. Playing baseball. Okay, let's try to use a different verb. Guys, are you bad at um, explaining? Singing. Uh huh, singing. You're mm, bad at singing. Not are you bad really. at explaining things? I'm bad at explaining uh, some of the things. Okay, and you, JC? I'm bad at. Mm, 
assistant patient. Assistant patient, patient. Patient, patient. Okay. No, I cannot show you my drawings, but here you can see some. Look. <laughs> you are good at drawing. Those are good. They're not good. They're just doodles. What is that? I don't know. Coronavirus. <laughs> this is the coronavirus. Right cellular. <laughs> the cells. <laughs> oh, yeah. the stars. I was trying to represent the, the coronavirus. <laughs> ah, okay. This one looks like it. <laughs> this one too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so remember, after enjoy, hate, love, and like. After prepositions, you have to use ing. And now we're gonna use it with expressions like don't mind, all right, can't stand, and there was one more. Oh, I lost it. Can't stand and don't mind. After these expressions, we're gonna use ing. Okay, we're gonna use adjourned. Okay. It, tell me something you can't stand, meaning you cannot tolerate it. Something you can't stand. For example, guys, I can't stand, I can't stand people. I don't know, but that's gonna, okay, I can't stand uh, listening to loud music. Mm -hmm. Why? Too loud. That's too you loud. Need you need to feel the bass. <laughs> feel that bass. <laughs> no, but bom, like when bom, your neighbors, bom, bom. when your neighbors are playing reggaeton, right, and very loud, I can't stand it. <laughs> no, I cannot stand reggaeton. Okay, in your case, you can't stand listening to reggaeton. Reggaeton music. <laughs> Katya. Something you can't stand? Mm -hmm. I can stand working mm -hmm. at Sunday. Yeah. Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand working on. On right. Sunday. Very good. And who's missing? Uh, Katya. I, I don't know. You don't know. I think you're very patient. Nothing seems to annoy yes. you. Nothing annoys you. All right. The other one, guys, don't mind, okay? <laughs> I don't mind. I don't well, mind. Como me da igual. I don't know. Primero, es, ah, I can't stand it. Then I don't mind. Ah. Ah, I don't mind. What's something you don't mind? I don't mind driving in my case. Ooh. I like it actually. I don't mind going to quarantine. Quarantine. Oh, you don't mind it? <laughs> no. I just want to get out from the house. Ah no, that that's not what it means. I don't mind means no me molesta. O me da igual, no sé. That's what it means. Yeah, like, like I'm saying, like, I don't mind going to quarantine. Okay, no, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Relationship. <laughs> no me molesta. It's like, <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Okay, JC? I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind. Raining? Every day. No, but raining is not a verb in this case. Ah, okay. No me molesta llover. Can you imagine if you could rain? <laughs> it's not raining. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind the weather say. is hot. Okay. Yeah, but that's not a verb. It is okay, JC, but it's not a verb. So we're going to say, I don't I mind. I need a verb. Bean. Bean. You can say, I don't mind to get wet if we go to the park. Okay, I don't mind getting wet by the rain. Okay, I don't mind getting wet by 
They're going. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. a strange one, but all right. But that's a verb, you see? <laughs> getting. Getting. Mm -hmm. We have ING. Getting there. Okay, let's review quickly. Recap. So you have four verbs. What are the four verbs? Quickly, guys. Four verbs. And enjoy, hate, love, no, like. Uh -huh. Plus ING, okay? You have to use a gerund. We also use a gerund when? After a after preposition. preposition. After and preposition. we also use gerunds after what expressions? Don't mind. Don't mind. Can't, don't stand. Mind. can't stand. Can't stand. It's not can and can't stand. stand, guys. No, right? Can't stand. Can't stand. stand. Yes, yeah, that sounds can't really better. Stand. Okay, there is another expression that I'm missing. Uh, can't stand, hate, okay. Uh, can't stand, it's not good, don't mind. Don't mind, can't stand. I think that's it. Right? Is it clear now? Yeah. Yes. Clear. Better? All right, now what we're going to do is this. Much better. Much better. Okay, this is a problem. Now you have to memorize all of these verbs. Mm -hmm. You have to memorize all of me? these verbs. Yeah, because... After <laughs> these verbs, you have to use ing. Okay. okay I All right, we're going to go little by little. We're going to study four more verbs tonight and the other verbs tomorrow. Okay. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, on, tomorrow, on you mean Monday. Monday. On Monday. Yeah, let's work with admit. Okay. Advice. Appreciate. Appreciate. And bye. Um, a boy. We're going to work with those four. A boy. Okay. Let's do five. Let's be, do begin. Sorry? This is the begin Let's one. Let's do five. Okay. It, I, we're going to say I admitted. You can use any ver any subject. I'm using I because I want you to feel related to the example, okay? I admitted. Admití haber hecho algo, for example. I admitted, I admitted what? I admitted. Do something. Admitting. <laughs> mm, doing something? No. JC, no. you have to use these verbs with the gerund, meaning ing. So I admitted doing. 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 Yes, you have to use ing. That's what we're seeing. Okay. ING. I admitted doing what? I admitted doing something wrong. Okay. Mm hmm. Another example, Roberto, Katia. She admitted cheating on the test. Okay. Um, Admitió copiar. Cheating. You need, you need ING. Cheater. Copy cutter. Uh -huh. They, they admitted they. They admitted broken the car window. Aha, uh -huh. no, but broken is not ing. That is a good they example. Broken. No, broken is not breaking. It's not the same. Okay. Doing. Right. What do you mean? <laughs> you said broken. They admit doing broke. No, look at this. I and he, okay, James. Admitted what? Roberto. Breaking. Breaking the glass. Yes, he admitted breaking the window or the glass. Okay. Okay. So after admit, you always need ing, ing, ing. Okay. Now the other mm -hmm. verb says advice. Okay. Let's do examples with advice. I advise the government. What is the government advising us, guys? The government? A stay at stay home. home. But what do you need? <laughs> uh, you need a gerund. This is a topic right now, guys. A staying. Uh -huh. The government is advising. No. The government advises 
staying at like home. Stay. Advices to staying at home. Yes, you have advice. And then you need ING. Very good. Okay, what do doctors advise? The doctor advise. He can be in the past. Doctor no, advise. Wait. Advise. Brushing. Brushing. Yes. Washing your hands. Hi. <laughs> Brushing, <laughs> <your eyes. laughs> Brushing your teeth. Or he advise washing your hand. Hand. Ah, me voy a meter aquí un problema. So, Taking your medicine. Thoroughly, okay. Thoroughly. Thoroughly. What is? Sure. What does it mean? <laughs> Exhaustivamente. That's something like what it means. Oh. A fondo, okay, yeah, it is well spelled. A fondo. Exhaustivamente. Can you really do that? <laughs> No, no, no. Completamente, you see, exhaustivamente. Not only a fondo, Roberto. Exhaustivamente. Exhaustivamente. Okay. I never heard that. 40 seconds. Really? The doctor, no, hold on. Advice. No, doctors advise washing your hands thoroughly. Washing your hands thoroughly. Mm -hmm. So here, we have two verbs, right? And you cannot say, for example, look, in Spanish, guys, you cannot say, yo gustar ir a la playa. <laughs> right? Yo querer comer. You, you can say that. Say, no, you cannot. You cannot say that. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. No, yo querer comer. No, it's not. Yo <laughs> quiero comer. So, you need, you need a conjugation. And in you, if you don't do this in, in English, I can't right? say that. If you don't conjugate, Yo comer. okay, the problem is one of those two verbs you have to conjugate, all right, so that you don't sound like Tarzan, and that's what we're learning right now, that the second one has to be, like okay, okay, yeah, okay, what other verb, uh, advice, appreciate, appreciate, okay, so I appreciate what? Tell me a verb. The doctor advice. <laughs> that's good. That's good, but that's not a verb. It's yeah. <laughs> so I appreciate listening. Um, yeah, listening to, to his advice. That's better. To his advice. Ah, okay. I appreciate. Okay, Katya appreciates. What do you appreciate, Katya, on activity? Eighteen a big piece of chocolate cake. <laughs> what? <laughs> eating. eating a big eating a a, a big piece <laughs> of chocolate, of chocolate cakes. <laughs> You're like I appreciate this. Thank you, <laughs> chocolate. I okay. appreciate so much. Jenny, let me say, Jenny appreciate. What do you appreciate? Working of doctors and nurses right now, maybe. Ah, no, yeah, but that's different because no. we're talking about some someone else. Uh, that would be a noun. It would be a noun. Like I, pre I appreciate uh, doctors working. That's okay. okay. So, for example, Jenny appreciates getting flowers on Valentine's. Is that is that right? No, you don't appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. receiving flowers, okay? And I appreciate um I appreciate I but this is gonna change the thing a little bit. The thing is that I could put a I could put um a subject here. I appreciate my students, okay? Let's say that this is a parenthesis. I appreciate my students yeah, do. paying attention. Okay, I can say this. I appreciate paying attention or I appreciate my students paying attention. What did I do? Okay, and finally, Truly. one more verb, thoroughly. 
avoid. avoid. What is avoid. something you avoid? Okay, what are some things? Is, we always talk about coronavirus. Some things. Okay, avoid. Please avoid. Please avoid coronavirus. Okay, but that is a noun. Coronavirus. That is a noun. So we need a verb here. Give me a verb, please. Please avoid. Not getting. I know, but not getting is avoid. Please avoid getting coronavirus. Okay. Oh, yes. We avoided. What is something we avoided in the past? <laughs> Uh, uh, staying close the other people. Ah, okay. We avoid being. Okay, not being. So stay is quedarse, okay? Estar. So we avoid being close to other people. Okay. And one more. Avoid. I will avoid tomorrow. I will avoid what? Spending long hours on the phone, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Using the phone. No, not my case, but you know, everybody should avoid this these days. Ah, okay. Just grab a book. <laughs> All right, is that clear? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we can study some more verbs. Clear. Or let's practice. We're going to come back to this on Monday. I don't want you to be too tired. We're going to do an exercise, okay? Jenny, if you can hear us, we're going to do this exercise together, all right? So please go to section 5.4. Everyone, go to section 5.4. And Katia and Jenny work together, and JC and Roberto work together and do the exercise. Okay. Sure. Part, okay. Right. Ready? Okay. 5.4. Here we go. Uh, teacher? Yes. On the platform, what does that mean? I think if one is like half error, like in the reading part. Okay. Writing no, no. part, I mean. Let's do it right now. And since it's only two the, groups, I will be monitoring you and we'll check together. Don't worry. Okay. So accept the invitation, okay. please. Let's see, let's see, let me do it. Okay. Okay, here you are. Hi, Garcia. Hi, Jenny. Mm -hmm. um, do you have the screenshot or something? No. Okay, waiting. But do you have access to the platform? So that you make sure it's right. Mm -hmm. Along the example, I enjoy with time spent from my. I enjoy spending time with my friends. Okay, number That's one. 4.1. What lesson is that? 4.4? Four, 5.4. Four. Four. Uh huh. Oh. Yep. We're almost done. Next thing we do the finals. Mm -hmm. And when I'm trying to like tell you before, in the when Jenny was doing this, like number three. I don't like it. Instead, instead of saying I'm good at, he was saying I'm that at. And the word people wasn't complete. Okay, I will check she on had, that. She had trouble, like, even though she wrote the correct order, mm -hmm. she always got it wrong. 
Okay, we'll check into that. Um, okay, let's do number one. JC, can you share the screen? Okay, the the platform. Mm -hmm. No, share the screen. No, 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 no. Don't take ah. a picture. Share the screen. Okay. Ahí donde tiene el micrófono. Mm -hmm. opción, compartir pantalla. So uh, Jose can see it as well at the same time. And I can see it. Speaker. Donde tiene para poner mute, video. You have. Compartir yes, pantalla. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Y eso siempre lo puede hacer in the future, in case you want to share with someone. Okay. Do you know Zoom? You... It's becoming popular right now. It has what? It's becoming so popular to do conferences or classes. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's great. People are getting used to it. Um, yeah. Fine. You see my screen? Yes. Okay. Mm, no, I didn't see anything happening. No. Okay, it doesn't matter then, because we don't have much time. Let's do number one then. With a group or team? With a team group? I don't know. I think if I hate working with a group or team. Okay. Okay. And the phone is I can stand sitting in a long, a long meeting. I can stand. Yeah, I can stand sitting in a long meeting. I'm interested. Number four, Jenny, is I hate working with a team or group or with a group and or team? With a group or team. Uh, with that group. A team or group. That is correct in the in the app. You know. With a group or team. Yeah. Katia, what do you pronounce manage 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 and managing managing managing, managing. yes managing. i'm interested in managing my time better I don't mind talking on cell phone. Mm -hmm. I just learn eating. Make sure you use a period. Oh, yes. A 
a lot of mistakes here. <clears throat> we have to go back now. Okay. Okay. I don't mind spending every day. There are many songs that use these, these verbs. Okay, did you get any of them right? The last one is like this, guys. Is I enjoy eating lunch out every day, period. That's the last one, okay? Yeah. Um, uh, yep, it's kind of complicated. I don't know why the answers are not right. But I believe that I can access the answers. So I'm going to try to do that during the week, during the weekend, I mean, and send you the answers. Okay. But try to work on it. I got them. Your best. I mm -hmm. got them right. Can you send them, please? But the thing is, I cannot see the full answer when you send uh, the screen. I, yeah, that's the problem. I can, I can put that, show the answers and put the screenshot. Right, or put your phone like this horizontally so that we can see it better, okay. see a complete sentence. Okay. okay. But I now I was given access to the to the platform as an administrator to see the answers like one or two days ago, so I can see it in case we don't we don't know the answers. All right. Do you have any questions? Okay. No. Nope. All right. Please join me on Monday. We're gonna finish studying the rest of the verbs. Okay. Okay. Okay, Thank teacher. You. Thanks for being Take in care. class. Have All a great us. weekend. Stay safe. Thanks. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. -bye.